Hey lovelies, it's Imogen and today we're going to be looking at setting up this planner together. It already looks pretty set up, but it isn't. It's set up previously. I'm sorry for the layout, I'm hoping we can make this work. We're rearranging the house at the moment and I am trying to make the best of a bad situation. So first of all, it is a Filofax pocket identity. And I keep calling it a Metropole, but it's not. It is the pocket identity. I created this planner band in 2016 and I used it originally on my uh, personal on my personal breast cancer Filofax, the pink one. And I'll insert a picture here. I used it on this one for a little while. I haven't actually used this planner since maybe 2017 2018 something like that i did set it up in i think 2021 somewhere around there and then i didn't actually end up using it but here we are here i am and this is what we're gonna do right we're gonna have a look so first of all on the outside i have the planner band that i spoke of i have this necklace piece which i made these necklaces This one didn't particularly go very well. It's got some air bubbles in it. So I decided to keep it for myself. And I just don't really wear jewelry. So I changed it into a planner charm. And that is how I'm planning on rebranding my shop, by the way. I do have an Etsy. I'm currently trying to get rid of my jewelry inventory so that I can start doing charms for planners and bags, etc. etc. And not really focusing on the jewelry stuff anymore. There is some Charms in there currently and they're on sale and I will be adding more soon. Then I have this little, um, what are these actually called? Like the beaded chain, ball chain? Yeah, ball chain. And on here I have some, <laughs> that's going to annoy me if it keeps making that noise. Uh, I have some various charms. So the first one I have is this little heart that says Imogen and I hope you can see that okay. Then I have this planchette charm from Spooky Watts Club, which says Ouija on it. Then I have this enameled panda head. I have another little bat charm, which says Spooky Watts Club on the back. Actually, it's Spooky Watts Co. I think it is. Yeah, Com Spooky Watts Company. And then I just have a pair of glasses. And these charms have been like literally since i made this charm set i popped them on my planner back in 2016 and i just I, I haven't changed it i love this set i love these and i've put them on every file of fact that i've used since i think this might end up coming off because it's annoying me so then as per i have my ride or die pilot g207 pen the back is just plain. It is a bit scuffed and a bit used because I did use and abuse it and I did get it second hand. And then if we have a look inside. So, as I said, I did set this up to use it but then didn't actually end up using it. I will go through everything. So first of all, I took a piece of, if we take this out, you can see that planner band on the inside and it's just a piece of lace and then I made the bat bow and I have a tutorial on my old account but I might redo it or steal it from myself and repost it. I am not sure. Um, and then it's just on a piece of elastic. So you can see the inside of that there. I'm not too upset about it, but I took a piece of stripy pattern paper in black and white stripes. I laminated it and corner rounded it and it looks like I also distress inked the edges as well. And I literally just tucked that in there. So it sort of hides the elastic part and you can still see this lace a little bit of elastic at the top of bottom and then I think this black and white stripe looks better than looking at an elastic band. I used the same thing here and if we take this little bone paper clip off I did the same thing here and I just stamped have a creepy weepy which is a stamp set that I got ages ago from AliExpress but Weepy's got an extra E in it for some reason. But I just love that Have a Creepy Weepy. I was like, what does that even mean? I don't know, but I love it and I'm here for it. And I made it my thing for the longest time. And then I just have these little um, bone paper clips. I can't even remember where exactly this one was. I think it was in that pocket. And they just sort of using that to clip that in place. 
Then I have a oh, magnifying, don't know how well you can see this, a magnifying card, which is really scratched and it has got a centimeters ruler on it, which is fine because I'm in the UK. Um, it has got a centimeters ruler. There you go, that probably works better, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, and I just keep that in there because uh, I can more than anything else. I've never used it for its intended purpose, but hey. I did make some uh, paper clip, regular paper clip, bit of lace material, and this is feels like a, what is that word? A grow grain ribbon, uh, which is black with white bats on it, which I quite like. And I made a couple of them, but I'm only actually using one now. This is a little Halloween three-dimensional piece of, oh, um, can we get it out without breaking it? Yes, we can. It is just a little witch's hat that's a 3D foam piece, and I glued it onto a hairbrush slide that has like the little circles so you can like glue ribbons and stuff on them. And I love doing that in a lot of my planners is um, gluing things onto little hair barrettes to make like little bits to clip on the fronts of my planners. While we're here, I'll take these bits out. So I have made this pocket and I originally made this little pocket for my uh, personal size file faxes. But I cut it down so it'll fit in here. But literally, it's just a piece of laminated that I laminated. And then I cut out the shape that I wanted, corner rounded where possible, and then just use some staples. And then it has, if I just go full school, has a little pocket here and a little pocket here. And then it tucks into like a Filofax pocket on these bits. And that's held in place with this. And this, uh, that one's not actually holding anything so that's also kind of what this little witch's hat is for is just to hold it in place on the top and we'll put that there and then I do have some moon sticky notes just a few left now so they're more decor than use and I kind of put them that way and then I just had the skull sticker which I really liked and I thought he fit in there and hides the fact that, that that top moon is like torn. So that's that. And I actually really love it. I might change this out, but otherwise I'm really quite happy with leaving this as it, as it is. Maybe, we'll see, I might change things. Then I created this and I literally just created this Ouija board. This is my own design and I actually have a jewelry line or I did have a jewelry line with um, this that I made. I probably will bring it back for the planners. Uh, but yeah, so basically I just print it out onto plain acetate with my, I think it was a laser printer I used for that one. Yes, laser printer on laser printing acetate. And it's quite a, a thin, you could laminate this and make it thicker if you really want to protect it. And I know Gotham Papers recently brought out a YouTube video about that's how she does her washi cards, is she prints on to clear transparency and then she laminates them. And that is a really brilliant tip. Uh, it's also what I've, similar to how I've laminated these so they could be used as washi cards if I wanted to. Then I have this and oh, I'm gonna murder the, the paper collection. I want to say it was by DCWV and it was something like potions. It's a very, very old paper set, at least 15 years now, I want to say. And it was like a fantasy set and if I can find some pictures, I'll put them on the screen. And I hoarded this for forever and a day. I finally decided to use it. I put it in here and then I never used it. And then on the back, I just put a, um, it's like a black and a very dark gray striped paper or it might have even been the back of the no I, I don't I added that and I quite like that that worked really well if I was doing a nevermore thing anyway so this first section literally just has a file of facts and notes file of facts notes and on the back of the notes is a lined page there then I try to be really clever and do this moon phase thing with these dividers but I'm pretty sure yeah I messed it up so these two are the wrong way around and that really annoys me that I've done it wrong. 
And I think that's why I ended up not using this planner because it annoyed me that I'd done it wrong and I didn't want to redo it. But I've bought some new paper and I plan to make some new dividers. So, is it wrong on the back as well? Or just the front? Yeah, no, it's wrong on the back as well. Okay, okay. So, this first divider literally just has some dot grid paper. So we could do a little bit of bullet journaling. This next one is a dotted paper with a, like a paisley on the back. And I don't know what this little doofy is, but I quite like it, so we'll keep that in there. This is a bookmark, and if you laminate, oh, this is very flimsy, isn't it? If you if you laminate, which is what I've done here, I put in a little back confetti and then just laminated it, and then I punched some holes with a circular punch that is in this size, and I'll get onto the punchy in a minute. And then I just cut slits straight down. I hope you can see that. So I can literally just pop it straight into here. So I can take it out. And it's just a page marker for wherever I'm journaling and like the little bat peaks up above my dividers so you can see where he is. Then I have like a grunged page with more sort of paisley issues on the back. And I started writing some stuff about uh, plants that are toxic to cats because at the time I only had cats, not dogs. And this was like plants I wanted to put in the garden and was writing that. I wrote some that are non-toxic to cats. And then again, I just have a bunch more plain dot grid paper, uh, lined paper and some sort of damask on the back. Then I've printed out, let's see, this one is Clutterbug Me, which is Cassie on YouTube. And she had this printable off her website, which was for multi-purpose cleaners. And at the time I was really into making my own cleaners and stuff around the house. Uh, and then there's home cleaning recipe. It says CMS. I I think that's clean my space. Yeah, clean my space. Who is? Do you know I've completely forgotten her name? Yep. No, that's, that's gonna run away with me. So I'll put it on screen. But uh, clean my space is another YouTube cleaning channel. The essential oils that I own or owned at the time. Uh, some ideas for a book of shadows slash grimoire, or as I call it, my grim boss. And then there's just a plain page. And then this one, which is another sort of Damask Paisley-ish design. And then just more grunge on the back. So if I hadn't messed those two up, it would have been like a moon phase. Like, yeah. But I messed it up. I got those two wrong way around and it really knocked me, as I said. So then there's some more dark grid paper. There's a theme here, isn't there? Some <laughs> colored paper, some to-do list paper. Here we have, it's just a big chunky page clip and I literally just stuck um, these two foam bats from a Halloween craft set that I got and I just stuck one either side and then their wings stick onto the back of each one and that's just like a really big bookmark page marker. Some more dot grids, uh, some lined paper from Filofax and then there's some address and that's clipped together with a little Oreo cat paper clip bookmark, which is the magnetic kind. And then in the back I have, okay. So in the back I have these sticky notes and I love them. I've had them for a very long time and I've hoarded them more than I've used them because I just like them. They are just so cute. But, and this is a don't do this. I decided to put in the back this which is a car air freshener. Now this planner smells amazing. I promise you guys, it smells amazing. However, it did burn this plastic and it has burnt the back of my planner where I'm not sure if, I think it's faux leather. Does it say in the front? It says, file effects, identity pocket organizer. No, it doesn't say if it's leather or not. I think it's faux leather. And it has literally burnt this here from being sat there. 
But it smells amazing, but don't do it. There are other ways I'm sure that you can make your blender smell amazing. This is not it. So in this back pocket here, I literally just have some stickers that I liked and I thought that they were just kind of pretty and they could sit in the back. The stickers themselves, um, I don't think they're damaged. They might be a little bit yellowed, but it might be the pocket that they're in. No, them themselves are yellowed from the oils transferring through and, but it hasn't seemingly gone onto the sticky notes. But this is a very chunky way of just having a bit of decor on your planner. So I'm probably gonna switch that out because it is quite a chunky thing with all the sticky notes. Do you like those stickers? Might use those stickers. Uh, I don't know if I should get rid of this or not because I like it and it smells amazing, but I don't want it to ruin any more. And it's also quite a chunky thing. It's no, um, maybe an eighth of an inch. That's definitely quite a few mil there. Then over here we have like some more pockets but I don't put anything in them. I find this is very difficult to get into because of the rings and I kind of wish it was just like a little bit shorter so you could get into it. But that's fine. This I used to keep like a note, a little notepad in. I am, I'm not sure where that's gone. I probably took it out to use it for something and forgot. And then this is just another paper clip that I've stuck a little, another one of those bats onto. On this side, you can see it's white with the black stars. And I just stuck a little fly-in 3D bat, foamed bat onto there. And he can probably stay. He's pretty cute. He has marked the back of this file effects, but he is just a decor piece. This is stuck here. And again, that's just a decor piece. And the whole point of these two pieces is literally say so when it's like this, I can see a little bit of pretty and that's the only reason for those pieces. So that's it, that's the door.